Microsoft is coming for Adobe, Figma and all the various creative tools out there. Past one week, it has announced not only one new design tool, but also a suite a complete suite much like Adobe Creative Cloud, which will be competing with the best design tools out there. So today let's look at all that has been announced and all that we are speculating in the design community. All right, so the first one is Microsoft Designer. This is what really caught fire first. And Microsoft Designer is an AI and web-based design tool. Basically allows you to use the power of DAL-E and it uses those APIs to allow us to design using AI. So we basically type in type titles we type in our subjects and it creates multiple designs based on that and what's and what's really unique with this is it's not just generating ai images it's also help it's also automatically generating designs based on those generative images so, so according to the demos nothing will seem out of place it will feel as if somebody has custom designed it so they're actually trying to replicate the design process using ai apart from that we also see things like collaboration features as well as various formats so whether you're designing a powerpoint presentation or you are design or you are designing something for your social medias or posters etc this is going to come handy in those areas and what's really standing out that it's basically trying to compete with tools like anima and some of the adobe tools which are used for social media marketing designs etc now let's move on to another platform called microsoft create which will come under the microsoft 365 platform and yet again this is and this is something that you can start using today you don't have to wait for it to launch it basically allows you to design presentations videos instagram and other reels etc you can design resumes planners trackers twitter headers pinterest linkedin posts certificates facebook ads calendar invoices facebook covers god damn it it basically has everything that you can think of as a creative or as a creator so what they're doing is they're leveraging their existing softwares which is the microsoft office softwares and they're going to be integrating all these design features into other softwares as well so you'll so if you have a feature on designer there's a chance you'll also have the feature in word excel etc it makes sense because powerpoint presentations need a lot of creativity to kind of create something what canva already does they've targeted that but they've also introduced those ai capabilities and the unique usps that you know we don't see a lot of tools now they also have under create something called learn and grow which will basically be teaching designing for various platforms if you want to create content how do you create content if you want to create designs for tiktoks how do you do that so basically they have they've created like a learning hub along with create so that non designers can get to learn how to build better designs or to, how to push designs better now yet again these are in preview so in the next coming months we'll be seeing a couple of more design tools being introduced here and i feel that they're already mar and i feel they're already targeting so many other tools there's not in, there's not much time left before they get into the market of Figma, Adobe XD and Sketch. So we'll basically be having another design tool. So really excited for that. Let's see what comes up. Stay uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel to kind of keep up with these events and design changes. And I, and I keep posting such videos every week. This was short and sweet. Like, hit the thumbs up if you like this video, short and sweet. I'll see you next time, same place, same time. Until next time, take care. God bless.